G'day guys, welcome back. Look what I'm doing today. Split cup. I've got these great cups. I had to buy 200 of them though, so if anyone wants one, if you're in Australia, let me know. I'll have to find out how much postage is. They're not those cheap reusable, um, like disposable ones though. That is quite a, a firm, hard plastic, like, it, yeah, it um, certainly is reusable. So as I said, I've got a heap of them, 200 I had to buy, um, but I thought I'll see how they go. Um, so they've got obviously that section there and then that section there and it's got this hard divider. So I'm going to put some colours in that side, I'm going to put some colours in that side and I'm going to pour from here so the colours come out together. I'm going to do a bit of a, a ring pour and maybe a jiggle pour. So let's get started. I'm using 70% glue, 30% water. I do like my ring pours to be nice and thick so that they keep their ring shape. Otherwise they go all sort of wriggly and zigzag, so I don't want that. Um, you can see how thick they are, the sticks are standing in there. I've mixed my global paints one to one with that mix. In saying that though, you guys know that the brown and the yellow are always really thick. I had to add water. The turquoise, is always really thin and I had to add more paint. I'll show you the consistency. I know you guys are always interested to see whether there's a mound or not. Okay, here we go. Whoops, that was a blob. Okay, can you see the mound? Mound on a mound. So it's pretty similar to what I'd use for um, a flip cup pour. So, yeah, pretty thick. I want those rings to stay in ring shapes. Now, I was sort of deciding what to do with this split cup, but I think what I'll do is I'm going to put yellow and white in one side and then the turquoise and the brown in the other side and just layer them like that and see what happens. It's my first go at it, so we'll try that. Um, now, how am I going to do this? Yellow in that one, turquoise in that one, try not to make too much of a mess, okay, uh, white in that one, turquoise in this one, and then the yellow is going to go in on top of the white, so just pull that down, this is a 30 by 60 centimetre canvas, so 12 by 24 inches, and then again with the white, turquoise, oops that one hasn't got as much paint in it, who knows what's going to happen, it's exciting! <laughs> I like to try new things. I've never done this before, you guys. This is the first time, so whether it works or not, I'm going to show you. Now, I did make up 100 grams of pouring medium, 100 grams of paint. So that's 800 grams, two, four, six, eight. Um, I don't know exactly how much I'm going to need. I might do one more. These cups are great. They hold about 750 mils, I think, which is good. I've also got lids with them. I don't think I'll be using the lids, but I've got the lids. Now there's a little bit of paint left in each cup. I'll just move that away uh, because I will most likely want to put some on my corners. Um, oh, I was going to put some um, silicone oil in one colour and I forgot about it. Doesn't matter. I'll do it next time. So my colours are they're all global, warm yellow, burnt sienna, turquoise, and of course, white. Alrighty. Now I'm going to start, I'm going to pour from here so that the brown and the yellow come out together, and then the next colour will come out together, and so on and so forth. But I'm going to do a ring pour, see how it goes. Wish me luck! I'm 
just going to walk it down a little bit. stop there because it's starting to get a bit wriggly well, that looks interesting doesn't it two rings at once I actually thought that the paint would all come out together in one stream but it came out in two streams obviously I did think that maybe it would come out maybe if I poured up from higher Maybe I'd get one stream coming out. I'll try that next time. Righto, let's give this a bit of a torch. Pop any bubbles. And let's see what we're going to get. down here first and then I just have to tilt up and down see how that goes it's not exactly what I had in my mind I was expecting as I said one ring and I thought the yellow would be blending with the green oh well okay let's go for that corner Back a bit. So this is where I'll put a little bit of extra paint. I'll put some turquoise here. That's my little tool. Just to fill in that corner. And then I'll put some, um, yeah, I think I'll go yellow. A little bit of the yellow just on this corner. Wipe my tool off so I don't get it contaminated. Probably end up tilting over this corner anyway, but. I'm not sure so while I'm down here I'm just going to pop a little bit of paint there okay <clears throat> now I don't want to do the side just yet might as well go over the side while I'm here <coughs> excuse me come back I think I'm going to need the weight of the paint up here before I can go to that side there so the weight of the paint at the moment is here so I'll do this side and then I can take the paint up a bit further and uh, cover that side up there all right turn it around it'll still be a pretty painting even though that was nothing what I was planning oh dear all right now so I'm going to go over to this corner here and, and try and get that side and hopefully I won't lose too much yellow come back and turn it around so I can tilt the other way away from me gone over I'll bring the paint back to the middle right oh now what do I want to do um, what do I want to do wish I had both colors in each half 
that's what I wish I want to do. I'll have to scrape it and try, try again. As I said, that was the first time I'd ever used that cup and I just assumed that um, the paint was all going to come out in one stream. But no, it didn't want to, did it? Okay, so now I think what I'll do is I'll pop a little bit of the white up here because it's already got yellow down the bottom. Oops, my light's a bit contaminated there. Just push that little lobby bit out. Put the white there and then, you guessed it, brown over there. Just so that each color, each corner is a little bit different. And then I'll tilt a little bit more, see what I want to change. And then I'll scrape it and <laughs> do it again. That lesson learned, hey? That's what happens with these cups. Unless, actually what I might do is I might put water in it so I'm not wasting paint and then just pour the water, maybe from up high, more of an angle and see if it all comes out in one stream. Maybe I was tipping too gently, and that's why it's come out in two separate streams. But I don't, I don't mind that. It's just the fact that I was hoping that the yellow and the turquoise were going to blend, which they haven't done. I'm just going to take the white of the paint back to the middle because I want this yellow to come over a little bit more, if possible. It's interesting, different, you know, interesting, you know, <laughs> you know, I don't like it if I say interesting, eh? It's interesting, yeah. <laughs> don't love it. It's interesting. I said I was going to scrape it, but it's such a pain to scrape. I'm just going to put some more paint in here because I've got leftovers and I'm just going to pour over the top and then if I still hate it, then, um, then I'll scrape it. So I'm going to put each colour in, the same, a bit of white in each, hopefully I've got enough paint, a bit of turquoise in each, and then the yellow, and the brown, and then I'll go again with the white. Um, I don't know that I'd have enough for three. I'll try and see if I've got enough for three layers. Might be a bit short on the white, I think. Oh, actually, I think I've got some white left over there from a different pour. I'll go and grab that. That's only enough to put in the, the one side. Alright, let me just grab that white. I don't even know what it is. Actually, this is, I should have put my oil in. I'm just going to put one drop in there and one drop in there. Just to see what happens. And a little bit of white. And what do we have next? A bit of turquoise. experimenting and some yellow not much left scrape it out obviously made up too much paint for this size canvas 
and a little bit of brown. Now I don't think it's going to pour out as one. I would have to tip it a lot. I haven't had a chance to go and practice with the water to see what happens. So I'm just going to do the, um, I'll set it pour out in two separate uh, sections. It's, it's good because you can still hold it as one cup. Okay, here we go again. I thought if I'd do big circles like that, that would kind of incorporate both, wouldn't it? So each circle is going over the other circle. It's going to be interesting, isn't it? I'm just walking it down, doing a bit of a wandering ring pour. Walk, walk, walk it down the surface of the canvas. It's starting to thin out now because there's not much left, so I'll just catch that. Oh, that looks pretty. And again, give it a bit of a torch because it poured out pretty quick. Popping some bubbles. All right. Now I'm going to do the same thing to the bottom there and then I can tilt that way and that way. So there's no right or wrong with acrylic pouring, you just do whatever you want to do, whatever takes your fancy. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. But it's fun, fun practicing and fun learning. So that old paint can pretty much go off. It's actually quite nice having that border around there too. I just leave it like that, hey? <laughs> oh dear, there's too much paint on the surface for leaving it like that. Look at it all go. That's really pretty though, I actually like that. Maybe I can leave a little bit there. I'll have to get more of this off though because it's too much paint. And I want to take some of this off here up the top. So let's go back the other way which means these lines all get stretched out. And back again. that looking a bit weird it's a bit weird isn't it I like this bottom bit more than I like this top bit so I might try and get some of that off again I think it's just that yellow and the brown mixing together it's not that attractive really even just leave it like that it's very different I think it's interesting and I'm just going to fix up my sides here with a little bit of this extra paint not that it's not much in there a little tiny bit left it's different gotta give it that But um, yeah, I, I don't think I'll scrape it. I'll, I'll keep it and keep playing around with these little spit cups. They're fun. I like them. Um, yeah, maybe um, like a jiggle pull. 
or just a straight pour. I'll see what happens when I do kind of like an angel wings pour, see how that goes. So there's lots of different things that I want to try with it and see how it goes. Just fix these up and then I'll take you in for a close up. I think that one's covered, that's the white. One little tool down there and down here. Oh, this corner needs some more yellow. So if you've got a pour that you don't particularly like, you know, while it's wet, you can pour straight over it and maybe incorpor incorporate both of the pours. See, I really like the outside of this from the first pour and then I like the centre from the second pour. So, so why not do a two-layer pour, hey? Finish this up and then I can take you in for a close up. Actually, I've missed a bit there, that's still white. I'll just put some white on that. I don't know that these colours are my favourites. You know that I always go with blues, but I thought oh, I'm just going to work outside the box a little bit because I always do blues. And I can see a tiny little bit over here on this corner that's not covered yet. Sorry, I probably could have done this after I'd said goodbye, hey? No, i show you the finished product. Okay. Done skis. Ooh, I've just dropped a blob of paint on my canvas here that I was I was going to show you actually let me get rid of these gloves Let's wipe my canvas I was going to show you these two before I started that was the round with the the global paint and that was the round with the Liquitex basics paint so both dry now pretty similar the Liquitex Basics cells went a little bit bigger, I think, um, and the white's more prominent. But not a lot of difference, really. Okay, uh, am I leaving this how it is? Yes, leave it how it is. Stop fiddling. All right, I'll take you down for a close-up. So the lines are really pretty. Look at the separation there on the left of the white and the yellow. You get that when your paint mix is nice and thick. So you can see the separation there. And you can actually see in the middle where the two split cups kind of folded over each other. See that? Like you wouldn't you wouldn't be able to get that. Just with a normal pour, you'd have to use the split cups to get that effect, wouldn't you? Maybe I can call it like a fold, a fold pour. It's really pretty. And then over here, look at the definition in the, the colours there of those stripes. So pretty. I think it'll have to grow on me, this pour. I'm not used to doing something this abstract. way as well. Get that light out of the way. You can see the, the stripes have gone over the sides and you can stretch your stripes out or your rings you can stretch them out and then they open up and then you get the other colors popping up from between them so there we go. Anyway leave it at that. Hope you've enjoyed that. Have a go at some split cups. And uh, I'll see you for the next one. I'll no doubt do a blue split cup pour. <laughs> All right, see you then. Bye for now.